Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and advice for all the incoming freshmen. This video is actually posting on my second to last day of freshman year, so I figured it was the perfect time to post this video. And a lot of you guys liked my middle school advice video, so I decided why not do one for freshmen. I'm so sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background. She's like downstairs. I'm home alone right now, so it's just me up here. She's downstairs, and I don't know if she's barking because of my voice or if there's just something she's hearing, but I'm Sorry if you can hear it in the background. All right, so I split this video into different categories so that you guys can skip around if you wanna know more about certain things. So feel free to use the timestamps that are linked in the description, or you can just run your cursor along the timeline to see the different timestamps. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to label my first category environment and basically what that means is like campus and the people that are around you on campus. So the first thing that I want to mention is your high school campus is not your middle school campus. For some people, it might actually be their middle school campus because schools work differently in different places, but for the majority, your middle school campus will not be the same as your high school campus. So make sure you treat it that way. For me, my high school campus is at least double the size that my middle school campus was, so it was definitely very intimidating at first. I remember on the first day of school, all I was worried about was getting lost because my campus is very large and we have a lot of people. Keep in mind that there are gonna probably be more people on your campus or at least a lot of new people and that you are in high school, not middle school. So make sure you act like a high schooler and not a middle schooler. For all the people who have been in high school or who are in high school, you guys can all probably relate in saying that the people who act like they're middle schoolers are very annoying and I know I'm saying this as a freshman so I was literally a middle schooler last year just like mature a little bit <laughs> like don't act like you are still in sixth grade if you know what I mean because it can definitely be annoying to like the people around you and especially upperclassmen so just make sure you act like your age okay so this next thing might be more of like a personal preference but please do not walk slowly in the hallways or busy walkways I know for me when I'm like going through passing period or just walking around honestly and I get stuck behind slow walkers it is the most annoying thing on the planet and I am a slow walker sometimes so like I'm trying to get better at this but like if you are planning on walking slower at least slower than how the normal traffic is at least move over or take a different route because people have places to be and you do not want to annoy people when they're like going to class and stuff remember that you are the youngest of all the other grades some schools do this differently so like for high school for me it's 9 10th 11th and 12th while some schools only do it as 10 11 12 and some schools do it differently. There's just a lot of different high school situations, but when you are new to your high school as a freshman, you are the youngest compared to the other grades. So don't try to like act cool like you're older, you know, because you are a freshman. And don't let the freshman like jokes get to you because everyone gets the same treatment as a freshman and that is getting made fun of for being a freshman. And honestly, it's not like the worst thing in the world to be a freshman because everyone was a freshman. So if you hear people making fun of you because you're a freshman, or something like that don't let that get to you because they don't really mean it like that it's just because you're the youngest at the school and that's how things are and just make sure you treat everyone nicely and like respectfully if that makes sense so like when you're passing by people try not to like bump into them too much or like talk bad about anyone because you never know who's listening to you and also don't act older than your age because it can get very annoying when there's like a freshman that thinks they're like so cool that they can act like a junior you know like it's just like no, you're a freshman, act like a freshman. You're only a freshman for a year. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about classes. First off, when you're picking your classes for freshman year, which usually you do this in eighth grade, pick classes that you're gonna feel comfortable taking where they will be like a little challenging, but not like overwhelming for you. And this might be a little hard to know because obviously you haven't taken the class, so you don't know if it's gonna be too hard, but definitely try to do some research if you're unsure and know what you're getting into. For my school, there is a wide variety of classes you can take. You can take the regular ones, honors, which is like accelerated, and then AP which is like above honors and from that you can kind of choose what level you want to take of each class some people choose the harder classes some people choose the easier ones everyone is different so don't compare the classes that you take to other people because everyone's at their own learning pace and some people care more about certain subjects than others so obviously they don't want to force themselves into an AP chem class if they like English more than science if that makes sense okay so the camera angle is really bothering me so I'm just gonna fix it quick the next tip I want to give 
give you guys is to actually try in your classes. Although some people say that like freshman year doesn't count or colleges don't look at your freshman year grades, all of that is a lie. Freshman year is like your base layer to your entire high school career and it's very important that you at least try because if you don't then you might start off your GPA very low and it can be hard to bump that up and that is one factor that colleges do look at when you're like applying and stuff. Obviously if you don't care about school, you don't care about college, none of that, I mean you do you, but if you actually like want to get into college and you want to succeed, try in your classes. Plus freshman year classes aren't generally that hard, obviously there's like accelerated courses and stuff, but like they're not normally that hard compared to other years, so definitely take advantage of that. My third piece of advice for this section is to try not to put too much pressure on yourself about grades and all of that. High school is definitely the time where classes can get harder, they move faster, and you will probably get some lower grades than you're used to. Even if you're an overachiever where you want all A's, which that is definitely me, there will be a test or a quiz or some assignments where you just don't do the best on and that is okay. And I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten a 60% and a 70% on two different biology quizzes this year, so this is definitely a real situation. And I feel like when I was in middle school, even if I just got like an 80%, I would be upset about it. And coming out of freshman year, I would be happy with an 80%. Like, I feel like my standards have changed. So just prepare yourself to not get 100% on everything. Obviously, if you take classes that are too easy for you, maybe, but it's good to take classes that are harder just because you never know where that can get you in life. Okay, so for this section, I have three main pieces of advice or just things that I wanna talk about. And the first one is depending on the classes that you take, you may have more homework or have to spend more time on school related things. So just prepare yourself for that. Specifically, if you take honors or AP courses, the time you spend on like homework and studying will increase from middle school. So I would just make sure to be prepared and have the time already like available to you so that you don't feel like you're cramming everything in. For example, if you're doing like sports or something outside of school, make sure you have the time handled so that when the homework does start to come and you start to get tests, you don't feel too stressed. And also try to make good study habits and work habits as soon as possible. In the beginning of the year, I feel like schoolwork is pretty low key. So obviously it may not seem as urgent at that time, but let me tell you, I literally had a biology quiz. I took honors biology, if you guys were wondering, but I had a biology quiz. I think it was the third day of school and that is because it is an honors class so I never expected something like that and I did not have study habits put like in my head so that was the quiz that I got a 70 on and since it was my first test of the year I cried because of it like I was very sad about it but then I got a 60 on a quiz this semester and I could care less honestly but that's besides the point just make sure to try to get your study and homework habits set in stone as soon as you can staying organized I feel like is one of the most important things about school in general but also high school with the workload, it can be easy to get behind and get very unorganized. So definitely establish some type of way to keep yourself organized in the beginning of the year. And also make sure you just have the right materials to keep you organized. For me personally, I think it's helpful to have like a different notebook or folder for each class just because it keeps like all the different papers organized. But if you prefer to have them all in like one big binder or something, just make sure you stick to some type of organization tactic, I guess, for a good amount of time because switching it up can be confusing. And then lastly, take care of your mental health. I feel like not a lot of people talk about this, at least at school, but at least for me, the first year of high school kind of altered my mental health, if that makes sense. Like it didn't destroy it or put me in a really bad place, but it's definitely made me feel some things that I never felt before regarding like school. That is mainly being stressed. So just make sure you take care of your mental health, especially with honors and AP and accelerated courses. The workload can just get a lot and also like grades and stuff. And at least for me, it can make you feel really stressed and burnt out and also probably make your sleep schedule bad because of the homework. So just make sure you monitor your mental health and your sleep schedule. And if you need to make changes to your schedule to cooperate with how you are feeling. And in the beginning of the year, if you feel like a class is gonna be too much for you later in the year, drop it while you can, because at least for my school, there's a deadline for dropping a class. So if you don't drop a class by a certain date, I think it's like in November, maybe, October, then you can't drop the class for the rest of the year and you're just stuck in that class. So if that is the same for your school and you feel like a class is just not for you, drop it because you do not want to get stuck in a class that's just setting you up for failure basically. 
Okay, so now for the friends category. This one is a very big one, I think, at least for me, but I think it's important to talk about. The overall idea for this whole section is just be prepared to lose and gain friends. For me, high school is four years, some people maybe more or less, so there is a ton of time for you to meet new people, get new friends, but also lose some friends, and you just gotta be ready for that. I mean, I know middle school can be a very toxic time just because everyone's trying to like find who they are and all that but high school is one of those main times in life where teenagers are finding their hobbies kind of choosing their path in life so everyone's kind of starting to move in different directions and that is totally okay and there are various reasons why you might lose friends it could be because of toxicness it could be because you just simply drifted and it could just be for many different reasons I've definitely experienced this this year and just remember that losing someone may feel hard in the beginning but trust me it's for the better and you don't want to put too much effort into someone that's not returning it back to you because that's just like draining and that's not worth your time honestly and everything happens for a reason so if you notice someone's treating you badly you don't need to be friends with them you don't need to like stick by their side and it is okay to meet new people sometimes it can feel hard to want to meet new people because you feel like your older friends or like your original friends are gonna get mad at you for that I definitely experienced situations like this this year but but please remember that no one can limit who you want to be friends with and who you want to sit with at lunch or anything like that. Like in the end, they're your friends and who you want to be with. So don't let people limit that. I would say I've met a lot of new people this year and it was definitely worth it to go and talk to them and sit with them, even though I felt a little nervous that like people were going to get mad at me for it, but it was definitely worth it. Also keep yourself open to talk to and meet new people. I know it can be hard sometimes to make new friends and it's not always something that everyone wants to do but trust me the simplest way to just make friends is to talk to the people in your classes you can just talk to like who you sit by at your table or like your desk you can talk to people around you like honestly that is how I met a lot of my friends this year and in past years so if you feel worried about like going up to random people on your campus definitely consider just talking to people in your classes plus if you are like friends with them it'll make it so much more fun to be in that class and when you are meeting new people be yourself don't ask act like fake just so you think they would like you because honestly it's not worth it in my opinion like just be who you are and the people that actually like you for who you are will accept you and the people that don't you don't need to worry about them if they can't accept you for who you are then they're not worth your time and surround yourself with people that make you feel happy if you feel like you're in a group that's like toxic and just not the people you vibe with you do not have to stick around with them definitely try to meet some new people and you can go and try to be with them but definitely don't make yourself miserable and stick with people who are just not good for you at least. And then my last little piece of advice for this section is to stay away from drama and toxic people for as long as you can. This is definitely something that's a little difficult to do at school just because you're surrounded by all these people and there can be a lot of different toxic environments, you know, like a lot of different people. If you notice that your friends are making you feel more negativity than positivity, definitely consider separating yourself from them and don't let the mean people get you down. Like we all know those people in our grade that just are mean and you don't wanna be around them. Don't let them get the satisfaction of making you upset. They're really only doing it for like attention and popularity, so it's not even worth it. And be the bigger person by not making situations worse than they should be. My last section of today's video is kind of like my final remarks, which are basically my five main tips that you can take away from this video. So the first one is high school is a big change and it might take time for you to adjust. So just stay patient. I know for me, when I first started high school, I was definitely like iffy. I didn't know exactly who I wanted to like sit with at lunch. I didn't know people in my classes and I was still getting used to my schedule. But honestly, a month or two into the school year, I just felt really good and it did take a little time but it's definitely worth it so don't go into school with a negative mindset like school can be okay if you make it okay my second tip is to enjoy yourself you have maybe three four I don't know how many years your high school has but for me it's four you have four years there and although that may seem like a lot it's gonna go by very fast and I'm only just finishing freshman year but not gonna lie this year went by very fast and that's already 25% of my high school like career 
I guess, already gone, which is weird because high school feels really long and it's already over. So definitely just enjoy yourself. And to go along with that, my third tip is to get involved. Definitely try going to sports games and school events. They are so much fun. And at least for me, they helped me feel more like connected with my school, I guess, and more welcome. Even if you're not the most social person, definitely just find a few friends and go. They are super, super fun, especially like football games in the beginning of the year. My fourth tip is to meet and talk to as many people as you can. High school gives you so many more opportunities for new friends or more friends and definitely take advantage of that. You never know how your friend situations are gonna end up at the end of each year and it's always good to have people who stick by your side no matter what. And my last tip is to have fun while staying focused. By that, I mean like keep up with your schoolwork, pay attention, try to get good grades, but don't burn yourself out to where you don't have a social life or you can't do the things that you love. Obviously school is a priority, but not that high of a priority, if you know what I mean. Like your social life and your mental health definitely are very important. So make sure to enjoy yourself while staying like focused on your academics. And those are all the tips that I have for this video. I know I've said this already, but freshman year went by really fast. And although some days felt very slow and at some point I had a few breakdowns along the way, just wanting the year to end, it is over. Actually, no, this video posts my second to last day of school. So I still have one more day of school after this video. It's pretty much over. We have made it to the end. And for all of you who are incoming freshmen, you guys are going to have so much fun in high school. I personally like it a lot more. And I hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to comment them down below and I will try to get to your comments. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!